Van Gear lightweight alcohol stove. And uh, today we're going to do a baseline test uh, in just calm conditions. Uh, the ambient temperature in my kitchen right now is 63.3 Fahrenheit. And we're just going to boil one, uh, sorry, one half of a liter of water. It's 500 milliliters of water. So let's unpack the kit. Uh, first inside, uh, first you have the uh, carrying pouch, neoprene pouch. Then you have the alcohol bottle, four ounce bottle with safety cap, your windscreen, a heavy gauge aluminum square, reflective square for cold weather conditions, a Kevlar priming wick for cold weather conditions uh, to help speed up the preheat of the stove. And then for ultra cold conditions, we have this reflective base, uh, which is insulating ceramic chip wrapped in adhesive foil. And of course, the stove right here. So today we're just going to heat, again, 500 milliliters of water. This is in calm conditions, so we'll just do a base heat with just the stove uh, and nothing else. I'll show you the deploying of the windscreen first, though. Uh, the screen is just held together in the kit with this zip tie, so slide off the zip tie and let the steel bring itself out. You can stretch it and then use the locking tabs and use the scalloped edge down. This will allow flow for oxygen through the bottom of the screen to feed the flame and your stove fits in the center. This is for maximum diameter of a six and a half inch pot. Today we're going to use the Primus tea kettle and again we're going to use this today without the screen. Uh, we'll do another video outside actually and uh, cook some ramen. Uh, this is just to see how it boils water in calm conditions indoors. So first thing we'll do <clears throat> is we'll take our fuel bottle. This holds four ounces so we'll do a two ounce test. That's the maximum fuel, full, uh, fuel load for the stove. So I'll be basically dumping about half the bottle uh, into the stove. Let the fuel settle in the bowl and didn't actually measure it. It's actually a little bit a little more there. That's about half. <clears throat> Close the cap. And we have 500 milliliters of water at 67.4 Fahrenheit. <clears throat> and we'll dump that into the kettle. and just loosely place the lid on. Next, ignite the stove and allow it to preheat. <clears throat> we'll be timing this whole process so you can see uh, how long it takes. It's generally about, in conditions like this, about one and a half minutes to preheat. And it should be about another four minutes or so to boil the water and then we'll have up to 12 minutes of burn time. Dim the lights so you can see the flame. The stove runs on methanol or ethanol, uh, and it runs best on methanol. It gives a clean flame and uh, odorless flame. And what's happening now is the stove is going to get warm and vaporize the methanol and allow it to start to pour vapors out to the side jets of the stove. And when the stove gets hot, they will auto ignite, and then we'll have a nice. Uh, nice flame array around the outside of the stove. And they're starting to ignite. And we've reached full preheat at 1 minute 26 seconds. Now we've just placed the kettle directly on the stove, 
stand. And you can see a nice flame on the from the bottom. And so far we're at two minutes, uh, two and a half minutes almost, total time. Interior temperature of the pots rapidly rising. We're currently 95 degrees Fahrenheit. 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Zoom in on the thermometer. And so we'll let it continue to heat. The stove you're watching right now has been tested probably a dozen or so times. You'll notice the paint actually holds up well to the heat. And we're coming up on four and a half minutes. Sounds like we're starting to boil. Getting close. This said it should be about four minutes total time. Uh, I'll be on the preheat. And right now we are at four minute mark. So at this point, uh, we burned about half our fuel, so for about one ounce of fuel you have enough uh, to make uh, half a liter of hot chocolate or instant coffee, whatever. Uh, if you actually want to cook something though, uh, then you'd use another pot and uh, use more fuel so you have more time to cook noodles or whatever you want to cook.
So we're going to let this burn to uh, dryness. Normally if I wanted to, I would uh, remove this from the flame and just extinguish the flame by covering it uh, with um, uh, a suitable cover like a mug or something to extinguish the flame and then I can reclaim any unused fuel. But we'll burn to dryness to get a total time on this, uh, this fuel pour. And from this fuel load, we got a minute and eight or 11 minutes and 8 seconds of burn time. You'll see that I actually used less than 2 ounces of fuel here. Uh, you can see the level in the bottle uh, is not quite half empty uh, at that point, so I just eyeballed it. Uh, so typically you get about 12 minutes uh, from, from 2 ounces of fuel. So once you're done, just allow the stove to cool. It does cool off pretty quickly. You'll be able to handle it uh, and then put away your kit uh, in, in quick order. And you can see the paint holds up nicely uh, from several uses. Thanks for watching.